New York's Fashion Week is in full swing, and here to give us a midweek report straight from the runways is WSJ's fashion columnist, Christina Binkley. Christina, it's so great to have you on set. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. How's it going over there at Fashion it's, Week? It's an, it's actually a great week. It was a little cold a couple days ago, but we're recovering. All right. And is it too soon to, to be spotting any trends coming out? You know, there's a there's been one that's blown me away because it's one of these things that just takes over the runway, and you see a ton of it. These long, slit skirts. It's a very, I don't want to call it sexy, I'm going to call it sultry look. So skirts that are almost down to the ankle, but with a slit up to there. Up to here. Yeah, I think there's going to be some alterations. Yeah, right, right. right. When it gets, <laughs> can you wear that to the office? Maybe not. Mm, but you could wear it afterwards. That's right. <laughs> they should have an adjustable slit. There you go. You a zipper. A zipper. <laughs> you are a designer. That's okay. right. Oh. A great idea. So tell us, is are there any designer shows that are already standing out for you? Well, you know, a big one this week was Oscar de la Renta. Peter Copping debuted there. It was an extraordinary collection. It, I'm always fascinated to see how a new designer comes in to take over a legend. I mean, how do you come in and design Oscar de la Renta, right? He did, and he brought, he, he did an homage to Mr. de la Renta, but he added touches of, it was very French. There were sort of little panels of black lace and corsets, sort of visible and the back of dresses that made it a little sexier, very lovely. fresh, it was beautiful. So he definitely put his own stamp on it. He did. Mildly. Mildly. He Taking his allowed. time, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Within reason. Are there any other shows that you enjoyed? So you know, oh, um, you know, I have to say, Narciso Rodriguez had a show that, that that really stood out for me. He has, I mean, you know, you always know you're going to get something fabulous with him. Yes. He's got those kind of great, sexy, but powerful looks. But his blend of colors and some interesting things he was doing with panels across the chest um, just really stood out. It's just super modern and fun. So I think that was a, that was a great one. Very Jason fun. Wu made a big stride. This he's gotten so much more. I'm going to say sort of powerful and boardroom with what's going on. Really? He's had some changes in yeah. his company. He's designing Hugo Boss, and he has a new president in there. He had fabulous fabrics, and the the manufacturing looked great. So and I he's think he's looking to take one. over the world, isn't he? That's, I think he just yes, he, just he may. is. Uh. <laughs> now, is it too early to identify a silhouette of the season? Well, it's clear that when designers were working on this, they were thinking about last year's cold weather. We've seen so much tweed and double-faced cashmere, so it's been a, a classic, but in a modern way. I think we're going to we have to keep having cold winters to wear the clothes that we're seeing right now. It's not so much a silhouette um, as a mood, I would say. It's long, languid. Double-faced cashmere is going to be sticking Ooh. with me for a long time. Sounds delicious and luxurious. Yes. <laughs> I can't afford it, but sounds good. <laughs> Christina Finkley, thank you so much for that.